So if you have a vehicle and you think you got a bad EVAP canister vent valve, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad vent valve and how you go about troubleshooting to see if it has failed. And so first of all, what is the EVAP canister vent valve? Well, it's basically just a small solenoid that's controlled by the onboard computer that opens or shuts to let in or out outside air. And the EVAP system takes gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And the basics of what's going on is that you'll have a hose. It'll leave the gas tank. It'll go over to what's called the charcoal canister, which is like storage for the gas vapors. And the vent valve is usually located on the charcoal canister, although they can't be separate sometimes. It usually is located on the charcoal canister. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine. And up at the top of the engine is what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running so gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. One thing is be sure not to get the purge valve mixed up with the vent valve. Since they do different things, the purge valve is going to be located up on top of the engine while the vent valve is going to be located up and underneath the vehicle, usually on the charcoal canister or very close to it. And so what are some symptoms of a bad vent valve? Well, very likely the check engine light is going to come on. Sometimes there's a smell of gas inside the vehicle. Since this is open all the time, it's basically leaking out the gas vapors. And so sometimes you can smell gas coming up inside of the vehicle. Also, if the vent valve gets stuck closed, sometimes the gas pump will keep clicking off when you go to fuel up. So if you're getting gas and the pump keeps clicking off on you, then that's a common symptom that the vent valve is stuck shut or clogged up. I made a video on why that happens when the pump clicks off. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check that out. And another symptom is sometimes there's a lot of pressure inside the gas tank. So if you go to take the gas cap off and there's a lot of pressure that rushes out, then that can be another symptom that it's stuck closed. And the vehicle very likely is going to fail an emissions test. And so how would you go about telling if it has failed or how would you go about troubleshooting it? Well, basically when that vent valve fails, it's going to become stuck open or it's going to become stuck closed. So you want to do different tests on it to see if it is opening or closing or if it has become stuck open or closed. And so the first thing to do, if possible, is to scan for any OBD2 codes to see if there's any errors on there. Because there's certain codes that the vent valve will give out if it is having problems. For example, if it's stuck open, you very likely would get something like a P0455 code, which is an evaporative emission system leak detected, large leak. Or you might get like a P0449 code, which is an evaporative emission system vent valve solenoid circuit. But the first thing to do, if possible, is scan for OBD2 codes because of how point you to what's having the issue. And the next thing to do is a test to see if that vent valve is opening or shutting. And there's some different ways to go about doing this. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often there's an option inside of there that'll let you enable and disable the vent valve. And you can hear it click when it's opening or shutting. Some people will take it out of the vehicle. They'll apply power to it to see if it's opening or shutting. But the next thing to do is to see if it's stuck open or if it's stuck shut. And another method you can use to see if it's stuck open is you can do a smoke test. And to do this, basically use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the EVAP system. And wherever the smoke comes out, you know there's a leak. And so if you feed smoke into the EVAP system and it's coming out that vent valve, then you know it's stuck open. So that's a common method to see if it's stuck open. Another thing to look for is that if there's any damage to the wiring or any kind of issues going on there, because any damage to the wiring or a blowing fuse or something like that is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad vent valve. Sometimes these hoses or ports can also become clogged up, especially if like mud was driven through or something like that. And when they become clogged up, they get the same symptoms as being stuck shut. And so that's something else to keep a lookout for is that if the vehicle was driven through any kind of mud or anything like this, then different kinds of debris can get stuck inside the port and it'll give out the same symptoms as being stuck shut. And another thing to keep a lookout for is that when the charcoal canister gets very old, it starts to become clogged up because the inside of the charcoal canister has all these small little carbon pellets that absorb gas vapors. But over a long period of time, they can become clogged up and they can start having issues sometimes where the gas vapors can't flow through like they once did. And so when that happens, sometimes it can give out the same symptoms as the vent valve being stuck shut. And so if you test that vent valve and it's opening or shutting correctly, but you're still getting like vent valve codes and things like this, then it might be time to replace that charcoal canister because it might have become clogged up. And so that's basically it. I just want to go over the symptoms of a bad EVAP vent valve and how you go about telling if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.